All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys some of my live trades from today with Polarity ATI. This time, I'm going to talk over the trades. I um, want to give a shout out to everyone that joined our Discord. We have almost 35 people in there, if not more already. So that's awesome. I was expecting about 10 people. So if you are interested, if you are using Polarity ATI and you want to join us to discuss everything, the link will be down in the description. It's obviously free. So everyone is still struggling, to be honest. Most people are struggling with it from what I came across. And uh, we came to realization that this system is not automated. It's more of a discretionary trading style with a semi-automated entry system. So that's where it is. And we got to find out when the best time to arm and disarm the system is. And that will take discretion. So the settings I'm using are 70 minimum volume and 0.35 ratio with three stacked imbalances. We had a crazy CPI data day uh, with a, a huge dump in pre-market at 8.30 a.m. So I was expecting the market to be a little bit more volatile today, but it wasn't. It was still uh, pretty stagnant at the open. So um, we had a couple good trades. The settings I was using for the system as far as the strategy goes, it's 15 tick stop loss, 20 tick profit target, and 10 tick auto break even in the first two trades. And unfortunately, that did not work out in my favor. So we'll go over that in a second. Let me fast forward to the first trade and we'll go over it together. All right, so we are approaching our first trade here. Um, here, I'm just checking something with the charts. I am changing the settings on the chart itself, but not on the polarity interface. The interface is independent from the charts as far as uh, the trigger system goes. So here we are on both in long and short, but obviously short Order is submitted. more favorable. We get filled in this trade and um, our profit is a little bit below the uh, support line drawn by Polarity ATI, one of the plugins. But here we get pushed into auto break even because we are up 10 ticks and unfortunately Stop, we get stopped out on the trade. The trade does end up uh, working and going to target um, just a minute later. So it was very unfortunate because we should have been 1-0 and oh, and we are uh, basically break even on the day. So 0-0 zero, zero. Um, right there would have been the target filled and would have been up to 50 on the day. So that's trade number one and basically a good trigger, good profit if we just stuck to the rules that we've always been sticking to. So um, We'll see how that goes on the next trade. Let's fa pause this recording, move on to the second trade. All right, so the second trade is about 15 minutes later and it's going to be a long trade. So we're looking for a long here of a bounce area and uh, we'll see if we'll get triggered into a long here with imbalances again set at 0.35 ratio with 70 minimum volume. What that means is we need to have at least 70 contracts uh, for it to be qualified as an imbalance. Um, Order submitted. Here we're going to have build. three stacked imbalances. One, two, and three. And again, you could have entered that trade manually. So if you're watching for that, you could be ready to go. Hit the hotkey and get into a trade yourself. The imbalance disappears, unfortunately, which is something that uh, we are trying to figure out what's the best. Do we kill the trade? Do we hold on to the trade? Uh, the imbalance did occur, but it did disappear. So um, it depends on what time frame you use. I'm taking screenshots for the Discord. I'm going to try to avoid that in the future. I'm going to try to find a different way of taking screenshots. But this trade, again, is the same example as the trade before. Um, if this would have lost right there, we would have had a full loss, right? But it doesn't. It comes back. It goes up. The deltas are positive. We get 10 ticks. It's actually like 15 ticks right now. Maybe like we like 13 ticks at highest point. We have some resistance there as we drone the yellow line, but we are going to get stopped out yet again. Actually, we did get like 16 ticks and then it's unfortunate because we're going to get stopped out and we are going to be break even on the day. Stop filled. So there is an example of the system again failing me. And it's a adjustment that I made today. This is the first day I used that. 
And right there, we would have been, um, not there specifically, but next candle, we would have been filled at the target of uh, 40, 45. I'll just fast forward a little bit. I think that was, I think that was the candle. If not, it's the next one. Yeah, that was the candle. Because we got stopped out here, and then that was the candle, and then um, it doesn't go really much higher than that. Yeah, it comes back. And I'm not even going to pause it because we are going to get into another trade um, pretty much right away, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, about a minute later. Well, not a minute later, but order we got submitted. Stopped out here. Order filled. Here we trigger a short trade. So again, taking Discord. Uh, screenshots so people see like we try to share live trades as we go to kind of give ourselves an idea of how we're doing and this trade is very smooth very straightforward um goes right to the target without um any um, interference but to be quite honest as you see i did take off the auto break even so after that i was like you know what target it's not build. working out it's hurting me more than doing me good i'll take it off and um and be done however Right there, we see another stacked imbalance. I manually Order enter. Filled. I manually enter the trade, and we do get stopped out. So that was a poor entry because it was right into support on a range day. So on a range day, you have to be very careful uh, with filled. shorting the first candle as a new low. You will get chopped to death. But anyway, uh, we are up sixty-two dollars. Um, half hour into the day, basically up five ticks. So let's see what the next trade does. All right, here's an example of a user error, right? So if you guys pay attention right here, uh, we had three stacked imbalances. There we go. They show up again, right? I am not focused. I am doing something for the Discord. I am distracted. I am not focused on the charts, and I miss a beautiful, beautiful short underneath the support, and I was just not paying attention to the chart at all to even um, trigger it. And unfortunately, that was a nice win. Ended up going much lower. Would have been an easy, easy 20 tick um, profit. But anyway, uh, moving on. That's something that we have to do. We have to consider it was a good trade and the system would have worked. So something like that could determine whether you're winning or losing, right? So uh, let's move on to the next portion of the day. So a couple more things that happened for me that I found to be unfortunate. So... Here is an example of three stacked imbalances right there. You saw it, those three stacked imbalances. It didn't trigger. Um, they disappeared, but they will come back and there will be one gap in between. I am sh arm short and I do not get triggered into that trade. And I think I should have been triggered into that trade to be honest. And I'm not sure why I didn't get triggered. And maybe I was like, all right, one tick gap in between all three of them will not work. It could be two stacked and then one gap and then another uh, imbalance and then it will trigger me. So I'm showing my Discord this um, and I wasn't sure what was happening because this trade, of course, ends up being a thing of beauty. I mean, beautiful, easy trade, right? So another missed opportunity there. Uh, let's move on to the next situation. That same thing happened. All right, so the same thing will happen here and... I'm actually going to reset my platform after this because I was really baffled as to why this was happening. You guys will see in a second. I am arm short. So I'm looking for three stacked imbalances to enter short. Here we get three stacked imbalances, one next to another, and I do not get filled. I have no idea what's happening. Again, Discord is getting that live. So if you want to see those things, join us in the Discord. It's free. And... Um, yeah, I could have answered manually. That's one thing that I should have done. But at this point, I was just wondering, like, why the hell did I not get filled? Like, are my settings wrong? Because, again, you can have different settings on the chart than you have in Polarity ATI. But I did change the settings to be the same. So here I reset Polarity ATI. Um, I reactivate it. And then I end up resetting the platform. But, again, another trade that ended up working beautifully. Beautiful trade. 
this one would have been close to stopping us out, but it still ended up working nicely. Um, but let's move on to the final trade of the day. Oh, let me just scoot it back a little bit. All right, so here we have um, a lot of de delta divergence with um, a lot of buying coming in. A lot of buying coming in. Aggressive buying coming in on this candle. So we arm long after it closes strong. So right here I see the basically confirmation that this divergence was pretty um pretty severe and look at the divergence that we had here too, you know. So like there's a lot of buying going on. So I decided to go counter trend and long it. Which we should get triggered right away here. Again, I'm just doing this as I Order submitted. Today. Order filled. Little, yeah, there we go. I'm just going based on my execution charts and then lining up the timing. But um, watching this for the first time since I recorded it this morning. And this one is a little bit tricky for me. So um, it's a little bit sped up, but it's not crazy. Because you could see the emotion still. So I was up like 15 ticks, comes back down. I almost get stopped out. And and it comes back to almost hit the target. I cut this one off a little early. But the even though the price is dropping, the delta is going up. All right, the delta is about to turn positive percentage. The positive delta is going up. There we go. There we go. 400 contracts. So even though the price is dropping, the delta is positive. So that's something that to something to consider. And I don't know why this is never full screen. It's blurry when it's not in full screen, but I'm still getting used to the screen recording software. Because what I used to use, I can't pause and, and skip through the videos, so it's hard to make these uh, recaps. So here, even though the um, auto break even is off, I decide to move it myself because this is a counter trend trade and I was up basically to the initial target, which is 15 ticks, right? So that's like the initial settings that I used to use, 15 ticks as a target, which is almost four points. And um, I was like, watch, it's gonna hit 15 ticks gonna pull back and then I'm gonna lose on this trade so I'm gonna be like I should have never even changed the settings from the 15 ticks it's just like everything that's happening to me has um, some kind of uh, negative feeling to it because obviously when you lose a lot it's it's confusing to as to why things are happening the way they're happening because you change one thing and another thing happens and Anyway, was up. Of course, the curse is hiding it, but um, oh, you can see in the upper right actually. I had to be up, I think sixteen ticks. And I am holding the break even. The stop at break even. I move it to break even there. And watch how close I will get to get stopped out. At least I should have moved it below that candle. To still give myself a 15 tick stop loss. So even though it's a break even trade at worst, it's still kind of like painful to see what was a winning trade turn into a break even. Because again, I'm experimenting with new settings and new new ATM strategy for today. This video is 15 minutes long. How the hell is this 15 minutes long already? I 
I think it's playing at regular speed. I don't even know how to speed this thing up. Like, play at faster speed, dude. I gotta get a better software in this. Yeah, it's playing at normal speed. No, oh, no, it's still playing faster. But this is why Connor speeds <laughs> things up really fast because I'm only showing you guys like four trades and look how long the video is. Oh, come on, man. In real time, everything seems so much faster. It's insane. But look how close I get to my stop. And boom, explosion. Oh, I actually moved my target. I forgot about that. <laughs> I even got a little greedy on it. Oh my god, if it goes now, it's going to go and shoot through uh, 20 ticks. So I moved it up. I would have never been filled at 19 ticks yet. I mean at 20 ticks. The highest Order hit canceled. 19. Order submitted. But I ended Order up killing filled. it for 15 ticks there. And then, of course, as soon as I kill it, it goes up to 4,008, which was the target. Initial target of 20 ticks. And that would have been a nice win. And we would have been up around 300 on the day. Actually, no, we would have been up like 312 on the day. Yeah. But it is what it is. And um, that was my day. First hour and a half, made 250. Nothing great. Could have been a lot better. Um, a lot positive today. More positive than negative from this system. So we're going to keep pushing and keep learning it and keep adjusting. And again, using discretionary. Uh, things like I like to use a tick chart to kind of give myself overall visual of the market where we are just watching this like I have no idea where we are in relation in relationship to like last two hours you know like I, all I see is like last um, not even a full hour of, of you know of chart and uh, here I get to see the full dimension of the market what it's doing and it's pretty cool to kind of use that as a and I have multiple charts on my screens to kind of give myself a visual of different time frames to be able to kind of avoid the traps and uh, see when the market um, gives decent opportunities. But yeah, this video is 18 minutes. I was expecting this video to be about eight minutes, so I have no idea where the time went. But I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Hit that like. Leave a comment, though. If you guys could leave your comment, just say whatever you guys want. What's your experience with it? and um and yeah hopefully i can make these videos a little bit smoother next time i am busy with work this week so this week definitely not i don't know if i'm going to post any more videos i would try to post daily uh for this week but it's going to be tough with work because of this this took a lot longer to edit to save it edit it you know post it all that it took a couple hours so um if i could Maybe use the screen recording software to edit and make the videos a lot shorter. That'll be fine. And uh, yeah, then I wouldn't have to talk as much. But now we are 19 minutes in and it's way too long of a video. So you guys probably are not here. But if you are here, thank you guys again for watching and see you on the next one. See you guys in the Discord too.